I think from a young age, I've had a strong sense of calling. Um, and that was always to live and work in a remote setting. I had exposure to people who had done that or were doing that. And overwhelmingly, the thing that I got back was, you know, skill up, study up, um, so that you have something to contribute when you arrive. And then at ECU, when I did my midwifery, I thought it was just another skill and I was going to move on. But I fell in love with it. It was amazing. And I stayed in Perth and I became the first male midwife at the Family Birth Centre. And after about four years, um, I was invited by Gove District Hospital in Arnhem Land to come up and work for them. And so that's what I did. A dear personal achievement of mine is being accepted into sacred women's birthing spaces by senior Aboriginal women who have invited me in and respected me in that because of this trust that I've built. Christian's career being a male midwife shows incredible courage. Um, he's going into spaces that are not traditionally associated with, with, with men. Um, and I think that's incredibly courageous, but also he's a great role model for other, other midwives. When I was working in East Timor, I became very aware of the high mortality rate in birthing. And that really struck me. Because in this field they told me, no, you know, as a man you shouldn't be involved in uh, birthing or women's business in that way. And so I hadn't. But seeing this I felt I couldn't ignore it. I'm going to come across this at some stage and I need to learn this. And so that's when I landed in uh, WA at ECU. They had a paid employment model and it was a Masters of Midwifery. And when I called I got to the student general inquiries line. But then a day or so later I got a call back from the course coordinator herself and you know she said look I think you would really enjoy this course you don't have to worry about being the only male on the course we'll support you um, why don't you come over and you know that excellence of and, and in standards of care and and uh, her, her ringing me personally I was really moved and I felt drawn to this university. He's made a huge contribution to the health and well-being of the communities that he served in Timor in the Northern Territory um, with indigenous populations making a really positive uh, impact on wherever he served. I would say to students, go remote. Get as many experiences as you can to deepen your clinical um, expertise and to build and test your capacity as a clinician. And I would say also to make the effort to build trust in the communities that you're working in. Sometimes it feels like you're plugging away in some far corner of the world and up here it does feel like that in the wilds of East Arnhem Land. Um, but receiving the award has made me reflect that, yes, I can contribute. I'm very honoured and humbled.